Uh, real quick, I'm gonna crack one open. I don't know if anybody wants to join me, uh, but uh, <laughs> I got you, my dude. Hang on. Uh, but I was kind of thinking about this. Of course, you know, I don't live there, so I don't know how valid this is, but uh, I, I was wondering about like, okay, in the spaces where there, where there's like overlapping claim to the land. Um, I mean, and I don't know how much land that makes up or if it's just like, per, like particular spots that are just really, really extra important. I wonder if you, like you don't, there's no reason to follow the status quo. Like, could you have a, a sovereign Palestine, a sovereign Israel, um, but also have these kind of tertiary, um, like almost like city states in between that are, that are like permanent ceasefire between the two, and both states have access to these to these locations that are like then self-governing or whatever based on the people who live there but like neither country is allowed to like put their military or no country is allowed to put their military in there and like a promise and like have that in writing and have the UN back it and say like these are safe zones these are peaceful zones um, people from either Palestine or Israel are free to move here but uh, are free to move here pre peacefully or something like that again it's just I don't no. know the full answer, but just you're a thinking the right way. To work with. You're thinking the right way because that accounts for the religious differences and the fact that everyone has a legit. Whatever we think about religion, right? I'm not a religious person myself. I think it's all bull jive. If we're gonna really like just get my raw take, right? Without any like care about what people think, right? But all of these groups who are the three predominant faiths in the world, right? They all lay serious claim in terms of history and all this here, right? And so to your point, we have to find a way to accommodate all of them. Everyone has to have uh, access to this space here, and we can find a two-state solution that still recognizes uh, the right of all these faiths to practice and come to Jerusalem. It should be under kind of, maybe, to your point, a city control, um, some kind of international control, wherever, you know, but it shouldn't be uh, in the hands of any single faith or any state. I agree with that. 